everyone welcome back to my channel today's video is actually going to be a little bit of a different one I'm going to take you through my tea collection I just thought I would show you the teas and things that I drink because I have quite a, an extensive collection I think um, and honestly I thought it's just something different that I could do and maybe update it in a few years time if I ever decide to venture out into other stuff but I really hope that you guys do enjoy this video and if you are interested in seeing what kind of tea I do drink then let's jump straight into it. I'm going to take you through the teas that are in the boxes first. I have some teas that are in boxes that are just individual bags and then I have individual tea bags in a box and I'm going to go through them all and show you what I have. <laughs> Alright, so I've got all of them here. I'm going to take you through the ones that are in the boxes and then I will show you the individual bags. But the first ones, I just bought one tea bag because um, we've actually taken them out of the box and put them in like our coffee jar type of display things. And it's just the Tetley Natural Green Tea. Looks like this. Uh, my grandmother drinks this pretty much. I don't like straight green tea like this. So my grandmother drinks this because it's a, just something that she likes. It's calming and really helps her. Like it's a detox type of thing. So um, she drinks it a lot. Um, and she finds it really helps. So I prefer the mixed green teas, which is what I'm going to show you in a minute. But um, she drinks this more than I do. But I still do drink it every now and then. I have noticed that in the shops they've bought our green tea with matcha powder in it and I really want to try it because I've heard it's got more caffeine content than or a higher energy release content than coffee so I really want to try it. This is the Diplomat English Breakfast. Traditional black tea with full bodied flavour. This is 50 tea bags. This is actually just the Aldi one. Um, we buy this just because it's, you know cheap um i like this one i will drink it obviously i prefer putting honey in my english breakfast tea we do keep more english breakfast than anything else because it's the one with the caffeine content the other english breakfast i actually have to say this one's my absolute favorite and i have completely destroyed the box so don't mind that but it's the nature's cuppa organic english breakfast this is the one i prefer Hands down, it is amazing. I got several bags of this in one of my show bags from the Easter show like years ago and I hated it and then all of a sudden I bought a box and loved it. So I really like this to me. It's got the most flavour, it's really smooth, it's really rich. This one is also the Diplomat brand. I do apologise for the camera not focusing. But this is also the Diplomat brand, but this is their herbal infusions, and it is chamomile flavour. I bought these because I actually love the Diplomat English breakfast ones. Um, once this box is empty, though, I will not be repurchasing these. They do taste really great. They're really nice chamomile tea. However, they actually do not infuse properly in hot water at all. So these ones, I can drop one tea bag in, leave it for two minutes and drink it. This, it's sort of like the bag fills up with water and they don't actually infuse. In one cup, I have to use like three or four tea bags in order to get a like normal strength chamomile tea. So once this is empty, I will not be repurchasing these ones because they don't infuse properly, as I said. This is probably my second most drunk tea apart from English breakfast and it is the Twinings Pure Peppermint. I used to buy these in just the small box, but in the end I decided to buy the large box. This is the one where you open it and it has the individual tea bags as opposed to the ones that uh, the bags are wrapped as well in this. Um, but I drink peppermint tea all the time. I'd have to say, this is, apart from English breakfast, this is probably my favorite non-caffeinated tea. It tastes amazing. I love peppermint, in case you guys haven't been able to tell from my videos, um, from the scents and things like that that I like. I love peppermint, so I tried this, and obviously I buy the big box. I actually tried this once in the winter with um, some honey in it as well, because when I was at work I had a really bad sore throat. 
they made me one of these and it was amazing so i pretty much don't drink this without honey in it anymore i love it <laughs> it just adds extra flavor it adds extra sweetness and the twinings brand i have to say is probably my favorite i've tried several brands and this is my favorite now the rest of my teas are actually all in a tea box which i got this for my birthday yes I got this for my birthday this year. It says T and you can see them all in the top there. So I'm going to go through these. Um, if they'll all fall out if I remove them. But you can see I've sort of put them in the order of the rainbow. <laughs> I thought that would be great. So I'm basically going to take you through all of these. Go down the columns and show you what I have. So the first tea in here is in a red bag. And it is also English breakfast. I like English breakfast tea. This is actually probably my... Th I prefer this over the Diplomat ones from Aldi, so I'd have to say this is my second favourite. Um, I will not be repurchasing these ones once I've had them because I do prefer the Nature's Cuppa ones. My mum gave me like five boxes of tea for my birthday as well as this box. So she bought me these not knowing I had all of these ones as well. But um, these ones are really nice. It contains just plain black tea it says you can enjoy it with or without milk and a slice of lemon i drink black uh, english breakfast usually with milk and i don't put lemon in it i'll put some honey in it as well um but yeah obviously traditional english english breakfast i have a orange bag and it is apple and ginger and i have to say this is probably not a very not a very um common one that I drink. Now I bought a box of these that has 10 tea bags in it and I've only drank two. So it's one that I actually think I prefer to drink cold as like an iced tea type of thing. Um, so this one it says enjoy it without milk. Um, it has white hibiscus, rose hip, ginger, apple, apple flavor, red hibiscus, lemon peel, roasted chicory root and some pear. This is, if you let this infuse for a long time, it becomes really, really like spicy ginger. But the apple in it really tones it down. I do really like this. I just prefer drinking it cold for iced tea. Um, so, yeah. The next one is in a orange yellow bag and it is lemon and ginger. Also from Twinings. Pretty much all of these are from Twinings because I think they're amazing. So this is lemon and ginger and I cannot really drink this on a day-to-day -day basis because the lemon and the ginger both mixed together actually upset my reflux really bad. Every time I drink one of these, it actually it upsets it really bad. But this is really great for digestion. It's really great for um, if you have any nausea, so if you're sick or something like that. Lemon and ginger tea is amazing for that. Um, it's more ginger as well, but the lemon is more refreshing with it. Um, again, this is a herbal tea, so you enjoy this without milk, and it contains ginger root, lemon flavor, lemon grass, lemon peel, linden, whatever the heck that is, blackberry leaves, ginger flavor, and citric acid. So the citric acid, and this is also probably what upsets my reflux the most. Um, I don't drink this too often, but when I do, I really, really enjoy it. Um, like I said, it's great for digestion, and if you have any sort of issues like that, so... Um, I find it actually really helps. The next tea is in a yellow bag and it is Earl Grey. I actually only tried Earl Grey, I'd say about two months ago now, and I'm really impressed. I thought Earl Grey was just like English breakfast where it was just a different blend. It is in a way, but it is um, black tea with bergamot flavoring. And I have to say it's really nice. I can't drink it every single day. But when I want black tea, but with a different hint of a flavor, this is really, really nice. Now, my grandmother drinks it black. She never really knew to put milk in it, um, but I drink it with milk. And I tend to put two tea bags in because I do like my Earl Grey to be fairly strong. It says you can enjoy it with or without milk and with a slice of lemon. Personally, in my mind, I don't drink tea with lemon. I've tried it before and it just doesn't phase me. I don't really care too much for it. Um, but Earl Grey is really nice. I find it's really smooth. This one in particular, I find it's really, really smooth um, and doesn't sort of taste bitter or anything at all. I can leave it to infuse for five minutes and it'll still taste great. 
Speaking of green tea infusions earlier, this is the one that I drink. This is green tea and mint. I really like the detoxing properties of green tea, but I also really like the flavour of mint. So I can't quite come at drinking a whole cup of just plain green tea. However, I can drink a whole cup of this. The mint in it sort of just adds an extra flavour to it. They also sell green tea and lime and green tea and lemon. I personally prefer the one with the mint because in my mind, with me, I prefer mint over everything else. So I find this to be really refreshing. Um, it contains a green tea, natural flavouring and 5% mint leaves. So this really is just a really refreshing drink. I will drink one of these if I have a headache or something like that because I find that it actually really helps. I don't know why but I think out of all of my teas that one actually helps me the most. Um, feeling just refreshed and hydrated and things like that so I love it. This is my most common herbal tea that I drink apart from peppermint. This is chamomile and spearmint and I go through so many bags of these because I pretty much drink one of these every single night. It contains chamomile, spearmint leaves, blackberry leaves, lemongrass and linden. I apologize I didn't actually do my research before this. I don't know what linden is but if I can find it I will put it in the description box down below. But I originally bought pure chamomile tea even before I got this box and I just couldn't drink it. So I ended up going and buying, there was, um, there's one in a yellow bag and it's chamomile, honey and vanilla. I actually only threw those out this morning because they taste absolutely terrible. I cannot stomach drinking them, I can't stomach smelling them, they are horrible. But this is amazing because like I said... Peppermint spearmint is really calming to me and so is chamomile combine them together and it's great So these are really nice also for the morning anytime. I feel a bit off Agitated angry. I will even have a cup of this because I don't know if it's the more psychological aspect of it But chamomile and spearmint this is great. It smells disgusting, but it tastes really great I promise <laughs> this one is only fairly new but I am actually really impressed and I am going to keep buying it it is the Twining's Digest they've bought out all of these teas that are sort of combinations of teas that are designed to help with issues so they've got digest they've got relaxation which I'm pretty sure is um, like chamomile and lavender and things like that they've got um, defense which is sort of like um, immune system booster and that's all your citrus type of ones and then this one is the one I chose because um, out of all my issues I have to say this is probably the one I wanted I've got so much chamomile tea I didn't want those but this basically is peppermint licorice and lemon and it's amazing I thought it was either going to be really good or really really bad I've had three tea bags of this and I only bought it just 24 hours ago, but it contains peppermint, aniseed, licorice root, mint flavorings, lemon balm and lemon verbena. And I just love this. When I drink tea, I leave my tea bag in the mug unless it is something that I put milk in. So for example, English breakfast, um, Earl Grey, things like that. I won't leave my bag in, but my herbal teas I will. And I love this. I love the flavour of aniseed. I absolutely, like it's probably my second favourite flavouring apart from um, peppermint. And this combined together is beautiful. In my opinion, you can get rid of the lemon and just have it aniseed, uh, peppermint and licorice. Peppermint and aniseed, that would be amazing. Pardon me. That would be amazing. I absolutely love this. It is so light. It's light flavoured. It's almost like it's light textured. Um, it doesn't feel heavy on your stomach, like obviously because it's digest. It doesn't feel heavy on your stomach. The bag is absolutely beautiful and I have to say so is the box. I actually kept the box they came in just to show you. Um, these ones are 18 tea bags. Normally the ones like this, the, these other ones, the coloured ones, um, they all just either come in the big box like my peppermint one or they have um, boxes of like 10 tea bags. These are the small ones like this, these ones, the peppermint and spearmint, I, or chamomile and spearmint sorry, I would buy like 
the large box of those, but you can't find them. Anyway, this is the box, and look how adorable it is. Like, it is amazing. I just, I can't get over how cute it is. Like, they put so much work into making the box look nice and feel nice. It doesn't actually feel excessively cheap. Like, I have to say, the Aldi boxes feel a bit eh. But you can even smell the tea in it. But they've even taken time to put designs on the inside. So, like, if I didn't have the major collection of tea and this is pretty much all I drank, I would not feel angry with reusing this box or keeping the box out. Like, it's absolutely beautiful. And I know that the box really has nothing to do with what the tea is, but it just... I'm impressed with how they took the time to design the box and make it look absolutely beautiful because I have to say the design on the box is what really drew me in that and then when I opened it the fact that you have all this in here um, it says settle into something more comfortable and then on the bottom it says if you loved this digest blend try our invigorating defense blend to add a little zest in your life it says with a soothing and sweet combination of minty peppermint, sweet licorice root and a touch of citrus from lemon balm, settle down with this soothing blend after any meal. I just drink this all the time because I think it tastes great. I don't think this really will do anything to help. I have this one which surprisingly I don't actually drink too much. But yeah, it's peppermint and spearmint. This kind of tastes a bit funny to me. Um... I am going to keep drinking it though. I do go through some boxes of this, but I have to say it's not my favourite. Um, if I had to give up one peppermint type of tea, it would be this. Um, sometimes it tastes a little bit too eh for me. Um, you enjoy this one without milk as well because it's a herbal tea. It contains spearmint, peppermint and peppermint flavour. But it's really nice and it smells amazing. Like if I make a cup and bring it in here, my whole room smells like it. I bought this tea because I was actually really like um, intrigued by it and it is Twining's Morning Tea. Looks like this um, and basically this is, this is full strength um, and basically this tea is just black tea so it's English breakfast tea but it's made and designed by a woman which is why there's the woman on the front. Um, it was made and designed by a woman because she wanted a slightly more smoother English breakfast tea. And this basically is that. Take out all of my other English breakfast teas I have. This is actually the smoothest. It is like almost creamy in a way. Um, this one is complete full strength. Um, I have to say this one's actually really nice. I do still drink this also because it comes in a much larger box. But... Um, yeah, it says, I love our twining story, which begins with pioneering founder Thomas opening the world's first tea house to welcome women way back in 1717. 300 years on, the story inspired us to create this tea. Australian women have told me they adore a refreshing cup, so I have blended this ultra smooth refreshing tea. So basically this was designed for women to be able to have a smoother, bold tea. And I totally like it. Only one can drink it, really, but I really agree. It's a lot smoother than all of the others. The flavour itself is a lot smoother than the others. Um, and I actually really enjoy it. I have this, which is chai with vanilla flavour. They actually have normal chai, but I, if I have a chai coffee or a chai tea, doesn't matter. I prefer vanilla flavourings in mine. I actually drink this one with no milk in it because it is just extra light strength. And I'd have to put two or three tea bags in order for me to be able to drink it with milk in it because it's just so light. But um, I drink this black, no milk in it, and it's really nice. The vanilla flavour really adds such a richness to the flavour. Um, it's great. It says you can enjoy it with or without milk and sweeten with honey. I've never tried to sweeten it with honey. Um, I've put one like tiny little drop of sugar in it before, but nothing else. Um, it contains black tea flavorings, cinnamon bark, and ginger. So the ginger is what um, makes this even better because this is the spicy and soothing one as well. So they have vanilla flavored chai that's just smooth and they have vanilla chai that's sweet and sp smooth and spicy. And that's what this is. I actually, my dad bought me a box of these years ago and I only drank one of them and threw the rest of them out when he wasn't looking. And now I can't stop buying them.
I know that there was um, 12 spaces in here, but in the one below the chives, more bags of the digest tea. In the last corner, I actually have these loose tea bags because these came in a box like this, and I now no longer have um, the box full of them, which I should have kept. Anyway, these are the like little twist type of ones. They come in the triangle bag. They look like this. Um, and this one's actually the forest fruits with a twist of apple. And I actually really, really love these. I make this one up and drink it as iced tea. I don't drink this as hot tea. I find berry flavored stuff just is not good when it's drank warm at all, in my opinion. Um, I don't like berry flavored stuff warm at all, regardless if it's chewing gum, if it's even, you know, berry type of pie. I don't like it warm. So I make this up, let it go cold, and I drink this as iced tea. So I've been going through those. I've only got one compartment left. Um, I don't know if I'll quite repurchase them just because sometimes the flavour can be a bit weird but I actually, I'll drink them but I'm still making up my mind whether or not I want to repurchase them. As far as I'm aware of, it's got blackberry seeds, blueberry, strawberry, raspberry, um, some apple pieces, pretty sure it has a, a tiny bit of cinnamon, something else but it just smells really like juicy and fruity and if I leave this back, this box open it's all you can smell throughout my whole room That's my tea collection i really hope you guys enjoyed this i did actually get a tea pot for my birthday um i can't find where it went though but i do have one um i really hope you did enjoy this video i hope it was somewhat entertaining and you got a look into the types of things that i like i still drink coffee i drink coffee i drink tea i drink hot chocolate i drink it all um i really it's just what i prefer for the day i have to say now i do prefer to drink tea more than coffee because i am trying to not rely on caffeine i know in this day and age a lot of people are like trying to encourage you to but i really don't like to try and um rely on anything that's caffeinated if i drink something caffeinated it's usually english breakfast tea or something um, I know a lot of people, there's the argument of whether or not tea actually has more caffeine in it than coffee, but I have to say that the caffeine in coffee is more addictive than the caffeine in tea. Okay, I really hope you did enjoy this video. Um, I will put a list down below of the teas that I did mention. If I can find them, I will link them down below. Um, and I am going to go and try some more flavoured teas, possibly maybe even buy a second tea box, um, because I would love to collect teas. If I was living on my own, I would just collect teas. I would have a bookshelf with just all teas in it. I love it. Um, and yeah. So I really hope you did learn something about me from this video. Um, thank you for watching. Please hit the subscribe button down there and I will see you in my next video. Bye.